joining us now from the Cincinnati Reds, Graham Ashcraft, who joins us Good via morning. ballpark camp. Graham, how's the weather out there? That looks like a steamy, steamy day. How's it going <laughs> over there? It, it is very hot and steamy. I'm sweating just standing here. Uh, your last four starts, you have an ERA under two. What's been working for you? You know, it's just it's kind of just been like what I'm saying in the post game interviews, you know, just staying in that rhythm, kind of figured out what we need to be getting after with the arm slot and in the rhythm and then just kind of staying on top of that. And that's what's really been working for us. Graham, how's your calf feeling now? I know it was an issue for weeks and did the did the time off kind of reset a little bit for you? Yeah, I, I was able to get the mobility back during yeah. that little uh, IL stint. And so ever since then, I really haven't had a problem with it. I mean, it's still pretty tight, like in certain areas to the touch, but it's it's not really that bad. Graham, are guys getting to the ballpark a little bit earlier than you remember? Because I know you guys limped out of the All-Star break a little bit, but I can't imagine a better vibe going on for a ball club right now than you guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, we we got guys showing up an hour before uh, kitchen opens. So, I mean, <laughs> it's 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 a real it's a real fun time in the clubhouse right now. Uh, where does the old man uh, Joey Votto fit into this mix? Because there's a lot of young boys walking through that locker room and I'm sure he might sit over there from time to time kind of checking them out. But I also got to believe there's a little bit of uh, an extra pep in his step, shall we say? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's. He, I, I say he fits right in. I mean, you look at him. I mean, he's he's going along right along with Ellie and everybody else. I mean, he's he's not missing a beat. That is for sure. What do you think of the City Connects? They're my absolute favorite, number one of all the teams. Oh, oh, I mean, well, it's when you hear like the black uniform, you're kind of like, all right, let's see what this kind of going to kind of look like. But then the way they they turned out, I mean, they're they're phenomenal. You don't get to pick the uni. Uh, I'll get it out. They'll let me pick if it's like the white or red, but we always wear the black on Friday. Where so. are you going? White or red? What's your pick? I, to me, if it's going to be a day game, I want to, I want to wear the white yeah, just because it's going to kind of hide the ball a little bit more. But if it's going to be a night game, he's always, either thinking, one. We're always thinking of something. I love that. <laughs> hey, Graham, you mentioned the, the youth movement and last night, uh, there was an all rookie infield. Uh, behind you, what 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 did you make of uh, what did you make of that? I mean, there had to be a certain sense of pride. All you guys probably came up through the ranks uh, with one another, and and now uh, for for this little brief snapshot, you're all together at the big league level. Oh yeah, I mean, just to see these guys come up and have the success that they're having at this level, I mean, it's it's awesome. Just getting to play with them and see these guys out here, it's it's. Especially in days I don't get a pitch, it makes it even better because I get to watch these guys play every day. So it's it's awesome. Graham, the, the home run celebration, it's very involved. There's a lot of pieces. What do you got on it? You like it? Yeah, I mean, it it's it's just something that kind of keeps everybody involved. And, you know, just like even even when you're <laughs> even what when you're sitting on thing, the bench, Graham? it's just it's so it, it's there's no way to explain it. Then know. it's like a weighted, it's like a weighted noodle bat. It's <laughs> it was somebody's that they had in their storage unit for the longest time, and then they brought it to the field. And so we just, it's just kind of made its way into the home run celebration. Who started it? Uh, I, I'm honest. I don't even know who brought it into the into the stadium. I have I have no idea who started it. it just showed up one day, and we've just been rolling with it ever since. I know you guys have been starting rotation wise Hunter Green Nick Lodolo been nicked up a little bit but yourself you've been pitching well Andrew Abbott's thrown the heck out of the baseball do you guys feel like listen you're getting the offensive production all eyes are kind of on this starting rotation to keep you guys in it. Yeah I mean we're having guys go out there and put up really good starts and that's that's all we can ask for I mean. It, it'd be great to have Lodolo and Hunter back, but I mean, until we got them back in the rotation, I mean, these guys are going to go out there and give the strongest outing that they can each time they go out, and that's all we can ask for. Graham, you're from, uh, I believe you're from the state of Alabama. Uh, you, you know about good southern cooking, home cooking. So let me ask you about Skyline Chili. Oh, I, I feel like it's a it's a controversial, <laughs> it really is. It's like controversial delicacy. It's made famous, of course, there in uh, Cincinnati. Where are you on Skyline Chili? 
He's never I'm gonna catch it. some heat for this. I've never had it. I, okay. I, 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 it's it's one of those things. Like if I'm gonna try it, it's gonna have to be in the off season because I don't know if I if I want to try it in season. I don't blame you. Because it but. might not come back. From. Get, the, get the bubble guts. Is that what you're talking about? There's no return. You're gonna have to do planks for a month <laughs> after. Have you had it? Skyline chili. I think I've had it, but I, I haven't have dove too deep into it. Hey, uh, but you are. Um, you you do a lot of hunting in the off season, and uh, there on your your Instagram account, you've got your little buddy with you, right? Oh yeah, little Hank. Yeah, tell us about Hank. He, he's yeah, he's a English Springer Spaniel. Oh. He is uh, four years old this year. He is uh, he's my little hunting partner. I get to take him out and get to enjoy the time with him out in the duck woods, and we got a lot of early mornings, and he gets to eat a a lot of spam and dog treats so oh, I love that hey Graham I just had a 13 U tournament in Hoover Alabama and we stayed close to University of Alabama Birmingham there's some tough streets down there you were grinding it out yeah. getting out of there <laughs> yeah you, you had you had to there's certain areas you gotta you gotta watch where you go but it it was it was a fun time it was a good time I gotta play a guy with a guy that I played baseball with from since I was four years old all the way through high school so he was one of my best friends I gotta end up playing my last year of college ball with and so that was that was a special that was a special time for me and him but it was uh it was it was a fun time I enjoyed it It was a little different than Mississippi State yeah. but it was a good time what well, did you have for breakfast yeah I'm, I'm going to get breakfast after we get done here what's the order what's the order I don't know I didn't get to walk down the line in the kitchen but they normally I normally get some like eggs over easy with some bacon and there maybe a go. waffle or a pancake so you're good with the, the eggs running, running. Over easy. Oh, yeah. Me too. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I don't like that. I'm an over medium kind of girl. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Hey, Grant, There's thanks no for spending way. a. No. Uh, no. Grant, no running. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with us this morning. Good luck the rest of the <laughs> way. Appreciate it.